So how do you make more money? I was just uh, sitting here reading some emails my team printed out that people have been asking me. This is the most one of the most common threads I get. How do you make more money? <clears throat> I was sitting here late at night before I went to bed, and I thought, you know, there's lots of techniques you need to know to make money. So I was trying to think of some fundamentals that I wish people had taught me earlier in life. And I'll tell you this. Write this down. Lead generation. If you can become a lead generation machine, no matter what industry you're in, no matter what business you want to start, you're going to increase your income. And here's why. What do I mean by lead generation? If you're new to business, this might sound foreign. It's pretty simple. At every point when you have something you want to sell, if you have a restaurant, if you're a musician, if you're an internet entrepreneur, you have two basic kinds uh, of people you're gonna work with. One's a prospect. That means they're, they've not given you any money, they haven't purchased anything, that any of your products, but they're interested, and then you have paying customers. Now, those are the only two, pro those are the only two types of people that have the potential to increase your income, right? If you're in sales, same thing. If you're selling cars, if you're selling lemonade at a lemonade stand, if you're selling an apparel line, you know, clothing, whatever it might be. Now, besides those two, you have the rest of the whole world. Right now, there's about 7.3 billion people on the planet. So you got 7.3 billion people floating out there, doing their thing, they're not making you any money, and then you have these two types, prospects and paying customers. Now. Obviously, everybody knows what a paying customer is. They're buying stuff from you. They're helping you increase your income. The in-between, so you got the 7.3 billion people, you got the paying customers. In-between is this middle world. You call them prospects. And those are people who are like kind of interested, but they haven't yet purchased from you. And that is what you must focus on. How do you transition the 7.3 billion people over to paying clients, they have to come through what's called the prospect, otherwise known as the lead. Everybody thinks about paying customers and everybody thinks about how, you know, people always come up to you, dude, I got this idea of, like Ollie G has this one funny video where he's like the ice cream glove he's gonna sell. And he's like, you know, I calculated how many people have hands at 7.3 billion and I'm gonna sell the glove for 15 bucks and that's how much money he thought he would make. Well, it doesn't work out that way because no matter how, good of a product you come up with, you'll never have 100% market share. Even McDonald's, which is the biggest fast food restaurant, they only have 20% of the fast food industry market share. Now, and that's pretty good, 20% shit. You get 20% of an industry, you're gonna be a billionaire. But let's bring it back down to <laughs> everyday world here. If you know how to take the 7.3 billion people and turn them into a prospect or a lead, you're gonna get a hell of a lot more people in the paying category. And of course, the paying category is the only one that increases your income. Why do most people suck at that? Well, honestly, I have a little saying. I'm gonna make it one of my t-shirts. Impatience equals poverty. Say that to yourself. Some of you might say to yourself, yeah, I'm just impatient, Tom, I'm impatient. Well, when I hear that, I hear you saying, You're pov you are in love with poverty. Un, it might be unbeknownst to you, unknowingly, but what some people try to do is walk up to 7.3 billion people and go, hey, you don't know me, come buy what I'm selling. Well, you know what? I read an interesting psychological report that the average person needs to be talked to seven times before they'll actually purchase. That's why McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Nike spends literally billions of dollars on marketing because they know they have to even those companies that are established brands those companies know that unless you're continually touching prospects they're not going to transition into paying customers so when i work with people and they want to make more money i'm like well how good is your prospect game can you transition these people who are on the fence they're like it's like in politics you have these undecided people they're not really republican they're not really democrat they don't know if they're going to vote for hillary they don't know if they're going to vote for trump that for both political campaigns, that's the one they focus on because they're on the border of choosing. <clears throat> a lot of what politicians do is the same as what you're going to have to do to make more money. They focus on that transition period. Now, let's get real practical. What can you do? I'll give you a few practical things. I was talking to one of my buddies 
um, on this not too long ago, and I thought I would add this to this video. <clears throat> he made a lot of money on TV and infomercials and books and all this stuff. And we were talking about this. I'm going to give you number one simple thing. If you have a website, and hopefully you have a website, ask people to give you their email address. Why? Well, I love social media. I do YouTube. I do Snapchat and Periscope and Meerkat and podcasts, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, people still use email. Now, I don't know if it'll be here for the next 100 years, but it'll be here for the next years. And <clears throat> you can get kicked off Instagram. You can get kicked off Snapchat. But pretty much if you control, if you have permission and you got somebody's email address, you can send an email to it, right? It's not relying on Facebook or whatever. It's pretty much relying on your ability to just send an email. So number one, and I'm assuming you have a website. Most people realize you're gonna have to have a website if you're gonna be making any money online or offline. But number one, it's amazing how many people don't gather emails. Now, <clears throat> step number two, be good at it. Because you ever been to somebody's website and there's got a little link on the side and it's like, enter your email and you're like, hell no, I ain't giving an email. They're not good at it. To be good at it, the form has to look good. It has to work on the cell phone. It has to be mobile optimized because most people are browsing the internet now on their phone. At least the majority of people are transitioning from desktop to mobile phones. It's got to have an incentive to it. And then the next step, what are we on? Number two? Number one, gather emails. Oh, number two, be good at it. And number three, know how to follow up on it. With those three things, you know, I, I've built businesses. I've collected many millions of email addresses. You don't have to do that many, okay? Don't let that overwhelm you. I'm just telling you, I've seen this from the beginning. When I own nightclubs, one of the tricks back when I was starting out as an entrepreneur, I was one of, how many nightclubs are good about having a website that you can uh, gather emails. Number two, you're good at it. Like people want to give their email because you're incentivizing them correctly. The form looks good. And then number three, following up. That was a secret to nightclubs. And I packed out my clubs more than you know any clubs really in the area. Not because I was such a genius, but because I understood the power of following up and that there's always people who have heard about your nightclub but haven't really transitioned to buy. And you use that email and you touch them. Like I said, that psychological re research says people need to be hit five, six, seven times. A lot of people are like, Ty, I saw your YouTube commercial so many times. Well, it's not me trying to annoy people. It's me understanding the psychology. And so many people come up to me and they go, Ty, I'm glad that you, the first time I saw your Lamborghini commercial, I was like, what is this? It was weird. You have a fight or flight response in your brain and it kicks in with adrenaline and it tells you, run, something new, something new, scary, scary. But over time, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, people start going, hmm, I'm going to listen to what this guy's saying. Oh, he's telling me to read more books. Tell me the more you learn, the more you earn. Man, this is stuff I knew, but it's reminding me. And I literally, now if I walk outside, shit, <laughs> 500 people a day will stop me. Literally, it's that much if I stay out. I don't stay out that much anymore. But because, and it's not because I'm so smart. I'm showing you this is how. You increase your marketing reach, you increase your brand, you increase your income. Um, for me, the better I've gotten at this is always equated to more income. Maybe if you somehow figure out how to fuck it up, it won't, but I don't know. I've never seen it that way. Now, <clears throat> one of the things, and this is what I was telling you, I was talking to Anthony, my friend, he's got this little tool, and I told him I'm going to be an affiliate for this. Affiliate, if you don't know what that is, that means... If you buy his little product, I get a commission. Sometimes I do affiliates. Sometimes I just recommend shit for free, like my book. Sometimes I'll put a link to Amazon. I make five cents if you buy an Amazon book. And sometimes I'm just like, go buy it at Barnes & Noble. Affiliate income is not my main source of income. But sometimes I'll be like, he'll be like, dude, people are going to buy my thing anyway. If you recommend them, I'll give you a, little fi I'll give you a finder's fee. So he built this little tool. Remember how I said you have to be good? at um, asking for emails. Well, the hardest part now is mobile phones. One of the hardest things because there's so many different, there's Android and iPhone and there's different browsers and people are using Chrome and Safari and all this stuff. So you need some tools now because like I said, you ever been to a website and look sketchy? You're like, I put my email address. Well, you, you, want, you don't want people. You can lose thousands and thousands of emails by not doing it right or potential emails to build your list. Remember, 
I built lists in the millions. You don't need to be in the millions. You can start making money at a much smaller list than millions. Obviously, obviously millions is better than hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands or hundred thousands, but you get started where you are. My first list when I had nightclubs was probably like 10, 20,000 email addresses. And I thought that was a lot. And you know, you can make a cool income doing fun stuff. And it's not about, look, sometimes people are like, Ty, can you guarantee me I want to be a millionaire? I'm like, can I guarantee you're gonna be a pro athlete? Can I guarantee you? No, but I can guarantee you that if you don't have this shit, you're gonna underperform. <laughs> you should think sometimes you gotta think about it the opposite way. People are like, Ty, you, you promise me if I do this stuff, I'll make a million dollars? I'm like, but I promise you if you don't do it, you don't have a chance. So life has a little luck, a little fate to it, but you gotta ensure the best odds for yourself by surrounding yourself with the best tools. So he has this little, all this cool stuff. I'm gonna put a link. So you can click on the link. I think I'll, I'll either put it in the video or I'll put it below and um, you can click on it and read about it. If you click the link, you don't have to buy it, but you can just see he's got some training stuff and um, he'll show you how he built this. And I think he's given a free bonus of like his book, which is pretty cool. I think he sold a lot of copies of that book. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Click the link and I'll let him explain. If you're skeptical, don't click the link. <laughs> Sometimes people are like, I'm skeptical. I'm like, well, then don't do it. I don't give a shit. I already know how to do it. Uh, I'm doing this because, like I said, I'm reading little things that people write me. We print off these. I get at least 500 to 2,000 questions a day. This one just seemed to be a common thread. Um, so, like I said, he's going to give you – you click the link. He'll give you some free training stuff. Um, he'll give you his book. There's an option to buy some stuff. You know, sometimes people are like, are you trying to sell stuff? I'm not really. He's got stuff. If you want it, buy it. I buy stuff like this all the time, man. I spend so much money testing every tool possible because what's really changed life for us humans is tools, automation. This is the holy grail. So I look at every tool there is, not with a cynical eye. Cynics are always fucking broke, man. You'll see. Your most cynical friend ain't gonna be ain't gonna make any money because all the money is made at the cutting edge. And when you do things at the cutting edge, you have to be willing to look at the cutting edge. That means it hasn't been accepted by the status quo, and your mom and dad won't pat you on the back and go, Oh, this is great. By the time your mom and dad and all your friends say it's a good idea, Alan Nation used to tell me, that's how you know if you're on the cutting edge. If your neighbor thinks it's crazy, you're on the cutting edge. That's why Albert Einstein said the thing about smart people is they sound crazy to dumb people. Because by smart, he Albert Einstein was ahead of the curve. Now, it doesn't mean everything that's ahead of the curve will work out. That's why you experiment. That's why I say click the little link. It's right here. Take you over Anthony's stuff. You can see what he's offering. You can make up your mind for yourself. Or you can just watch this video and take it and try it on your own. For me, I always find using tools shortens the learning curve. Um, so, yeah, he'll teach you this little mobile, how to build an email address, I mean, email collection system on your website following up blah 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 it's cool stuff and uh he was over here the other few weeks ago and people want me to these are the kind of people that i talk to you know you make war with a multitude of counselors that's an ancient proverb that i live by people go well should i listen to that person listen to i listen to all of them like abraham lincoln said he learned from everybody sometimes it's what not to do okay <laughs> sometimes you look at stuff and you're like nah but I, I'm at this place now where it's just like, I test everything. You know, the link you're going to click on right here, or it might be in the description below. I clicked on that link. I look at everything, man. And I look at it with a open mind. Obviously, I don't want to get ripped off, so I examine and make my decision. But I don't get paralyzed. People are so paralyzed by inaction, so procrastination prone. That they just, every opportunity that could be big, they just leave it behind. I've never understood that. Never. You want to do big things, don't regret a lot of stuff. Don't go, well, there was this tool that could have helped me build thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds or whatever the num is, a number of email address so I could contact prospects, people who are kind of interested in what I'm doing but aren't ready to buy and I can take them through a process of email them and contact them and the next thing you know they're buyers. You need buyers. This is key. You need buyers. 
having an Instagram doesn't mean they're buying. Having a Snapchat doesn't mean they're buying. It's the transitionary skill that you have. How do you transition them from just here? There was a kid at my conference that came up to me. He was about in tears. This is last week, Tuesday. He said, Ty, I you know, got this t-shirt business. You helped inspire me. He's a young kid, like 19. I think he was still in community college or something. And he said, Nat, you know, I said, how you doing? You know, I was worried. This guy was going to break down in tears. And he said, well, you know, things. I've got this t-shirt. In fact, you could see on my Snapchat, I think it was called Estevan t-shirts. He's in Riverside. And I said, how it's going? He said, how's it going? He said, good. I've got 20,000 uh, Instagram followers. And I was like, wow, that's cool. But he wasn't getting many of them buying. He was selling a couple shirts at a time a day, one shirt a day or something. And I didn't have time to talk to him, but this video, if you're watching, man, Esteban, I think that's your name, this is what you have to learn to do. How do you transition them from just having them on Instagram to getting their email address, to following up with a nice sequence where they feel more and more comfortable with what you're doing, and then those really interested become paying customers and your income goes up. It's, it's you know, to make a lot of money, there's lots of things you have to know. This is for sure one of the fundamentals. That's so few, when I say fundamentals, I don't mean simple. I don't mean lame. I mean, like you're a boxer, you gotta know what a right hook is. <laughs> you or a left hook, you gotta know what a right straight and a jab is. If you step in that boxing room, you're like, well, I'm above the fundamentals. I don't need to know what a left hook is or a right, you know, a straight. Well, Floyd Mayweather, they're gonna knock you out in one millisecond. Know those fundamentals. I meet so many entrepreneurs and they're like, Ty, I can't get over the hump, I can't. And I look at their fundamentals, I'm like, bro, you don't even collect emails and even if you do, if by chance I put my email address, you don't know how to follow up. I'm never going to go from a prospect to an actual paying customer. Um, click the link. Tell me what you think. Um, for some of you, it's going to be the most important click you ever make. For some of you, you know, maybe it won't be. But always be open-minded. A mind full of conclusions has no room for expansion. Like I said, I'm an affiliate for it, so you might say I'm biased, but I'm not really biased. <laughs> it, it, it's fine. If you don't buy, I'm going to be okay. Okay? So, every once in a while, I become an affiliate for stuff that I think is cool. And this one's pretty cool. And I know he's got a lot of expertise. And I know it's not for everybody watching this video, but like I said, if you're listening and this really keys and you're like yeah man I, I this is a step you've heard of email marketing and you've heard of collecting email address this might be just the right thing for you so at least try some of his free training and then you can decide later if you want to get the actual product that that he has for sale i forget how much it costs but invest in yourself i never met somebody ever and i'm waiting maybe i will never met somebody i'm like how'd you go broke they're like dude i invested in myself I overpaid for too many training programs. No. You know what makes you go broke? Consumption. 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 Because consumption money goes out, no chance of coming back. You take a vacation to Hawaii, that's consuming. Meaning you go to Hawaii, there's no chance that the Hawaiian hotel is going to be like, you were such a great uh, person staying here, here's all your money back. No. And plus interest. No, no, no. Only by investing. And some people are tough enough to understand that message. And some people are, are, are just like, no, I'm just going to wait for magic money to drop in my hand. There ain't no magic money. There's no get rich quick skill. Uh, there's no get rich quick. What there is is skills. How do you build skills? By training. How do you train? Getting around people who have done it before. You take a pit piece here and a piece here. You take a piece from this little link here. Anthony, a piece from me, a piece from Elon Musk, a piece from Warren Buffett. You read books. You get all these things. It's like making a good stew, a good soup. You don't just put water in it. You don't just put chicken in it. You don't just put corn. You don't just put salt. It's a mixture. And when you mix all these all together, it becomes something, you know, a work of art. So click the link. It should be here, or you can see it below in the description. And uh, get started. Don't procrastinate motivate how do you motivate you remember the end goal man this can help me create income a tool i don't have to work so hard okay no guarantees but uh this is what i do that's the best i can do people ask me questions i'm like listen this is what i did i don't know if it'll work for you but i bet you will i'm not a special person 
I didn't, you know, I wasn't born to rich parents. My dad was in prison when I was born. My mom was a single mom, man. So it worked for me. And of course, you got to apply skill to it. You can't just make an email list and then magically money goes in your bank account. But you got to know this stuff. If you go on my website, I collect email addresses. I wouldn't think about even one day. And I do it well. Okay? I, I don't suck at it. So you got to know how to do it. You got to collect them. You got to know how to do well. And you got to know how to follow. Up. And if, as you guys know, I know how to follow up. You probably not your first step thing you've seen from me. So you learn how to do it. You know? The purpose of life is to win and bring others along to win too. That's what I'm all about, man. I want to win. No lie. I don't do all everything I do unselfishly. I want to win. But I want to take you along for the ride just like my mentors took me along for the ride of the good life that they were living. Fair is fair. They helped me. I'm going to share this stuff with you. So click the link when you get in there and you see that stuff. Send me some testimonials, some emails of how, you know, that understanding a list and building it and prospects this stuff's helped you, okay? I always love hearing that stuff. It's a great part of my day every day to get those cool ones. People are like, Ty, how do you deal with you know, negative comments? I'm like, you don't get it. I get this many negative compared to all the positive. It's just that um, I don't always post those all over the place. The human brain has a negativity bias. So people get confused. I get 500 to one negative to positive. You always gonna get, you'll see. It's like when you do big things, rejects that don't have shit to do all day gonna talk shit. You want that. Sometimes I don't hear enough haters and I'm like, that. if my ratio's 500 to one and I ain't getting enough ones, that means I ain't getting enough 500 positive ones. But you write me one. Try out this, this Anthony's deal, you know, the free stuff. If you get into the paying stuff, let me know what's up, okay? Click the link. Talk to you soon.